peace showed grief, but not despair. Our head, though bowed, had faith to spare. As we enter the month of May, we recall that traditionally the month of May has been dedicated to Our Lady. Right from the beginning, the Franciscans have had this tremendous devotion to Our Lady. So much so that many of our provinces are named after Our Lady. On the East Coast, we have the province Our Lady of the Angels. That province is named for that church where St. Francis died, the Porziuncula. But my own province is entitled Our Lady of Consolation Province. What a beautiful name, Our Lady of Consolation. So you can see a constant thread running throughout the conventional Franciscans and all Franciscans with a great devotion to Our Lady. So now let us join together and place our many needs before her, the knots that are tangle up our life, and we place those before her and we ask her to take the, those knots and shake them up and let them dissolve. May God grant you peace, comfort, and freedom from anxiety. To Mary, the undoer of knots, Holy Mary, full of the presence of God, during your life, you accepted with great humility the holy will of the Father. And the devil was never able to tangle you with his confusion. Since then, you have interceded for all of our difficulties as you did at the wedding feast of Cana. Full of kindness and patience, you have given us an example of how to untangle the knots of our life by remaining forever our mother you make clear and firm the ties that unite us to our Lord. Holy Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, who untie with a maternal heart the knots of our life, we ask you to receive into your hands our petitions and deliver us from the chains of confusion that restrain us. Amen.